Good morning. How NASA used the high-rise camera to land a rover on Mars. This is an image that high-rise captured this image of the crisp crater. The crater was formed when a meteorite crashed into Mars. The sharp rim around its edges indicates this is a young crater. This steep the steep slopes contain clues that suggest water may be seeping down the slopes. NASA's new rover landed on Mars on February 18, 2021. Mars is a neighboring planet in our solar system. The rover is a six-wheeled exploration robot called Perseverance. Before it landed, NASA had to collect information about Mars. The scientists had to know where to land the rover safely. That's where the powerful camera called HiRISE came in. It's one of the instruments aboard a spacecraft launched in 2005 to orbit or travel around Mars. HiRISE takes detailed photos of Mars. It over orbits the planet between 200 and 400 kilometers or 125 to 250 miles from its surface. Scientists can change the color of the images the camera takes. This allows them to see important details they couldn't ordinarily detect with their eyes. Since 2006, HiRISE has sent nearly 69,000 images back to Earth and is still st sending many more. Images take 15 minutes to travel roughly 225 million kilometers or 140 million miles back to Earth. Finding the right spot. Perseverance landed in the Jezero Center. The crater is a lake that dried up. There, scientists hoped to find signs of past life on Mars. The scientists studied 81 images of the crater. They were looking for a nice level area where the rover could easily be driven, says Rich Zurich. He's the scientist for the spacecraft that holds high rise. We want to avoid hard things that are like big rocks, he says, and they wanted to avoid soft things like sand because the rover could slip. And the camera continues to help the mission even after the rover landed. Perseverance is 225 million kilometers or 140 million miles away. NASA still needs to see where the rover is. You can see the rover tracks with high-rise cameras, Zurich says. You can see where it's going and where it's been. Monitoring, monitoring changes. High-rise does more than help perseverance. There's still a lot we don't know about Mars. The camera's images are letting scientists study the planet's changing features. Candace Hansen is one of the scientists in charge of high-rise. She says that before the camera, scientists thought any changes to the planet's surface happened billions of years ago, but HiRISE showed that that's not true. The camera takes many images at the uh, of the same place at different times. Scientists can see changes on the surface of Mars by comparing the images. We've seen avalanches, Hansen says. Avalanches happen when rocks and other materials fall down the side of a mountain. And they've seen dunes travel too. Dunes are big mounds of sand piled up by the wind. Scientists have calculated that Martian dunes can travel up to one meter, three feet, in a Martian year. Martian year is 687 Earth days. So what's next for high rise? The powerful camera has covered less than 4% of the Earth, Mars surface, says Zurich. If all goes well, high rise will operate for years to come. We hope it'll go for another decade, he says. Now, let's move on to the questions. Thank you.